Buffalo Bill Reservoir near Cody enjoys its own special status among Wyoming reservoirs. Anglers here can look forward to catching wild Yellowstone cutthroat, rainbow trout, brown trout, and lake trout in the midst of spectacular scenery. Wild trout from Buffalo Bill also fuel the North Fork Shoshone River, known nationwide by anglers. An illegal introduction of walleye, though, around 2022, added a new wrinkle to fisheries management here due to the impact walleye could have on recruitment of trout species in the reservoir. So, strategies were needed to suppress the walleye. Relaxing regulations is working. Walleye here are considered a non-game fish with no creel or possession limits and must be removed when caught. Another strategy added in 2017 focuses on the time of year when walleye gather up to spawn. Fisheries biologist Jason Burkhardt. We're setting gill nets to capture some female walleye. Our objective is to try to reduce that population to ensure that the walleye population doesn't grow too large and it starts to consume too many of our wild trout that we have in the reservoir. We've been doing uh, this walleye suppression effort since 2017, so we've got nearly a decade um, under our belts taking walleye out of the reservoir and our uh, modeling shows that our efforts are being successful. It's the combination of the gill netting that we're doing here on the spawning areas as well as uh, the angler harvest that we have uh, occurring that is uh, keeping that walleye population low enough that it's not going to be impacting the trout population. Biologists then age the fish by extracting otoliths. These are ear bones from the fish that, when under a microscope, show rings that can be counted like a tree to tell how old a fish is. That data is used to calculate the annual mortality of walleye in Buffalo Bill, and when paired with other information, allows biologists to determine if the population is growing or shrinking. Female walleye aren't at spawning age until seven to eight years of age, so anglers are essential by catching those fish before they mature. Walleye densities at Buffalo Bill aren't high, and eradication of walleye at Buffalo Bill isn't likely either. But by developing effective suppression strategies such as these, fisheries managers are keeping trout populations here healthy and anglers happy. Hit the subscribe button to get the latest on hunting, fishing, and conservation news from the Wyoming Game and Fish.